how long have they been here? Four months. Four months. Do, do they have hope that they'll be able to go home? They don't want to go back. They don't want to go back. Well, well remember this, God, God loves you. And uh, he, he sees your suffering. And so we pray that he will, he will intercede, intervene for you. We're in Bangladesh. As one may know, there's about a million Rohingya. These are people from, from Burma, uh, Muslims that have had to flee, that have been uh, driven off their land. Uh, and there's a, a very difficult conflict going on in their country. But they're living on top of each other. Uh, a million people living on top of each other. And this, where we are right now, is our treatment center for infectious diseases. Uh, right now we're treating uh, diphtheria, which is a, a big problem in this camp. And it's something that we don't see in America. We haven't seen it since uh, maybe the late 40s, early 50s but it'll kill you, and it, it, it's uh, affecting the children. Unfortunately, this people group is not immunized and has almost no access to healthcare or antibiotics, so they are incredibly vulnerable to the disease. It hurts us deeply when we see them sick and we see them, them suffering, and especially in this case when you know they're suffering from something that could have been so easily prevented and is so unnecessary. The Rohingyas is a unreached people group. I think uh, I'm hoping that they will see us as uh, representatives of Christ and that they will be open with what we've done here to maybe at least uh, hopefully ask us questions about what, why we're here, what are we doing here, who we are, and uh, that opens the door for us to give them the answer. I think most people are quite unaware of what's happened to this uh, refugee population here, how much they've suffered. and. Most people that I talked to back home had no idea what was going on. This is to treat people that have lost everything, uh, but yet we want to have the, uh, the highest standard that we can. And of course, we come in the name of Christ, but it's interesting they want to come here first because word is out that we're Christians and that we care for those uh, that come through the door. The nurses have a pill that will help with the beach in your throat. About two hours away from here uh, is a mission hospital. This is a hospital that I first visited uh, over 25 years ago. It's called Memorial Christian Hospital, a great missionary hospital that uh, does all types of uh, surgeries, a great surgical ward. They do uh, internal medicine, uh, they do it all. But this hospital is a referral hospital now for this camp. We send uh, patients that have to have operations there. Here at MCH, we've been blessed for 40 years to have a relationship with Samaritan's Purse, and that relationship has just blossomed in the last four months. Without Samaritan's Purse support, we would not be able to provide care for the Rohingya population. Well, I'm doing an Operation Christmas Child distribution right here in Bangladesh. We weren't able to get boxes in the country, so what we did is we put things in a bag like this, toys uh, for the kids. These are the Rohingyas. These are the kids that have come out of Burma. Now this is a girl's bag, all right? Now let's, let's see what we put in it. Here we go. Every bag has got a doll. We've got a t-shirt, we got balloons, and got candy. They're lined up back there, as far as you can see. Now this is kind of cool. Got a soccer ball. Every boy gets a soccer ball get a t-shirt, got the pump to pump the ball up with, got candy, same thing the girls get as far as toothbrush and so forth. We couldn't do this without you. Your prayers, your financial support allow us to come to places like Bangladesh to the Rohingyas uh, to give a gift to these kids and we're doing it in Jesus name. So thank you so much for everything. It's exciting. It's great to see the smiles on the kids. Uh, I think we have been focused on the idea that uh, giving this gift bag is like planting a seed of hope. Someone remembers them, someone cares about them. Uh, for many of these children, some of the things that they have seen and have had to experience is truly traumatic. So to get a gift that not only has maybe a personal item for you, but has some items that your family can use, it's, it's a blessing. So we need your prayers and we need your financial support. And we want everyone to know that uh, we're here in the name of Jesus Christ. These are Muslims uh, and we're here 
loving them and caring for them. And we want to be a light, the light of the Lord Jesus Christ in this very uh, dark part of the world.